guys welcome back to my channel who is doing well and staying safe um anyway guys so my dad was so sweet today guys which he always is uh decided to take me to target to pick up something that my mom had um bought for me so and he found some still books at target as well so we went to t target and best buys so um i got to show you what um he picked up i'm gonna show you what i got last okay so he picked up two still books at Target and one at um, Best Buy. So we do have some more movies coming in. Um, hopefully by Sunday we'll make another video for you guys. Got a lot of good stuff coming in. Um, some really awesome stuff. So, um, but when these came out Tuesday, um, we were we we're looking at them. We, we didn't pick them up at the time because we, we weren't sure we were going to get these or not. But he ended up today at Target. Well, you know I'm gonna go ahead and pick these up. So um, I'm so happy he did. So because, excited. Because I don't um, have them in my collection. Right, exactly. That's but, what you um, mention. What? Oh, yeah, because we didn't have them in our collection. He I, doesn't. I don't have but, them in uh, my yeah. collection, so I decided to go But I'm sure down the line, now these came out in that, they were in that set. They came out, like, last year. But they're all getting their individual slipcovers and still books. So I'm sure sometime this year we'll get Vertigo, North by Northwest. What's the other one? A rear, rear Window. So... Um, hopefully we get all those. That'd be really, really cool to have them all, you know, still book form. But these are the only two that's out right now. So, um, first one up, guys. These are not limited edition. They're limited edition, but they're not, you know, exclusive to Best Buy. Because we got them at Target. But, anyway. So, the first one up. This is a really beautiful still book, guys. Absolutely love it. I've never seen this movie. I know. That's really bad. Wait a minute. You said you said they weren't limited edition? I, I meant to say they're not exclusive. That's what I meant to say. No, they're not. They're, and, the, and, and the Best Buy had what? They had a lot of them, yeah. but uh, they are limited edition, but they're not exclusive. That's what I, sh what's, that's what I should have said. But uh, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous still book, guys. And that is the birds, um, 4K limited edition still book. Um, when I when I saw this lady on the front, I cannot, I, I forgot who this was in here because I guess I've never seen it. Um, I looked at the back and it says Jessica Tandy. That is so cool. I had no idea who 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 that was at the time, but I love her so much. But uh, um, I've heard this is one of Hitchcock's, Hitchcock's best film. I cannot wait to check it out, guys. But, uh, from 1963. So, yeah, if you want to read about it here, guys, she's right there. So that's pretty cool. So, I love the design of that. But, uh, yeah, there's the birds. Awesome, guys. Okay, so this one, I don't understand why they brought this one back out again. Because they already had, they made a book last year sometime. The 4K book. But, uh, of course, this is a different cover of this one. I thought it was blue. It's 4K. But, uh, so they brought out it out again, <laughs> and that is Psycho, guys. This is a 4K, um, limited edition still book, um, from 60, 1960, guys. But, uh, one of my all-time favorite black and white horror films. I love this movie so much. But, uh, if you have not seen Psycho, you're just missing out. It's phenomenal. So, um, got, uh, Janet Lee, of course, right here. And, um, what's his name, guy's name again? What's guy's name? Anthony, Anthony Perkins, Perkins, good lord, yeah. But, uh, excellent film, guys. Excellent. But, uh, yeah, from 1960, guys, that's a long time ago. But, uh, never seen, this always includes the uncut theatrical version, which I think the Blu-ray has that as well, because I had the Blu-ray with the same subcover, so, um, I love that movie, but, uh, love this still book right here. Look at that, it's pretty amazing. So, um, yeah, there's Psycho, classic, classic movie right there, guys. All right, this next one up, was, we got, he got this at Best Buy. Now, when this first came out last year, uh, we never picked it up, of course, because we got it today. But so he kept looking at it, kept looking at it, so he finally went ahead and picked it up. It was actually it had a really good price on it, so he figured we'd go ahead and grab it. Mark down. Uh, Mark down to $17.99, which is amazing. So I love this sub. This sub is absolutely incredible, guys. But uh, and that is 4K edition of Top Gun. Now, I think this one was not exclusive. You can get this at Target as well. But um, one of my favorites. I love this movie so much. But uh, um, could not wait to check it out on 4K on his TV. I've seen it on mine. It's, his TV is amazing, guys. But. Uh, yeah, awesome. I'll read about it, but this is an absolute classic uh, from 1986. But uh, if you haven't seen Top Gun, it is such a fun movie, guys. But uh, newly remastered feature plus bonus, new bonus content. But uh, awesome looking still book. Love the, the gray and the red. Um, but yeah, if you haven't seen it, it's got some, got some really good actors. It's so fun. I love it. Yeah, a lot of good actors. It does. Right? Val Kilmer, of course. You know. Um, I should get the other guy's name in there. Ironside. Yeah, thank you. Jasper. That's right. Then you had Rick. But Rick Rufovich or something. Hold like on. Yeah, the guy from um, Christine. 
No. Um, that's a different guy, man. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Anthony Edwards, Tom Skerritt's in here as well. Duh. You're talking about the guy um, that was with uh, Steve Martin movie. Remember the Steve Martin movie? Steve Martin movie. Oh, um, Roxanne? Yeah. Remember him? I remember him. He was the one that had, he didn't know how to communicate. That's with, right. With I forgot about now. him. Yes. Yeah, and he kind of had to do it for him, you know. That's anyway, right. I love that movie. Yeah, Rick. Is that Rock Rockovich, Rokovich or something? Yeah, Rose, but Rose Roxanne is hilarious, guys. You haven't seen it, but uh, here's his still books, guys, right here. Perfect. Lovely still books. They're gorgeous. Okay. All right, I'm going to go show what I got at Best, or Best Buy first, and I'll show you the one still book I got at Target for last, okay? All right, so these, I've, I've been seeing them there. They're really cheap, and I've never owned these, so I was going to go and pick them up. So first one up is the two... Um, this unrated edition, extended edition of Superbad. I've always wanted to see this one. I, I love, um, I forgot his name now. Oh, yeah, Johnny Hill and Michael C Michael Sierra. Um, Seth Rogen's in here. Bill, Bill Hader is one in this one as well. Um, I've always wanted to check it out, and it was like $5.99, so I figured I'd go and grab it. Um, I cannot wait to check this one out, guys. But uh, one of the few Seth Rogen films I've not seen, or Johnny Hill. So um, I figured I'd go and pick this one up. So Superbad. Love it. It was cheap. So this one was five dollars, and I've heard really, really good things about this one as well. One of the best vampire movies out there, and that is Thirty Days of Night with Josh Hartnett. Um, I cannot wait to check this one out. I cannot believe I've never seen this one, but uh, like I said, I've heard really, really good things about this one. Stephanie from Movie Chatter is always talking about this film, um, so definitely want to check it out. I might get him to watch it with me. So um, we like vampire movies, so we're gonna go ahead and grab this one for the collection. But uh, it says on the front here, the most terrifying va vampire movie ever made. So, yes. It was, it was cheap. It was, five, it was $5. So, if I could go ahead and pick that up for the horror collection. Okay. This came out last week. And when it came out, I, I didn't get it right away. Um, it's cheap. This was like $14. And I don't have this movie. Um, there's a few other ones I need to pick up. I have three of these now. Um, this one, I have Ghost Protocol and I have um, the newest one on 4K. So, we figure I go going grab this one. It's the 25th anniversary edition with a really cool slipcover. Plus, you get a, a collectible car decal as well, and that's Mission Impossible. His last name is Rossovich. Rossovich, Ross, okay. Rossovich. Yeah. Yes. But I've never seen this one. I've always wanted to just check this one. It came out in 1996, guys. That's crazy. But, uh, yeah. Uh, who else is in this one? Oh, I forget who's in this one. Of course, you know, Tom Cruise. But, uh, oh, Gene Reno. That's who it is. But uh, definitely want to check this one out. Uh, if you want to read about it here, this is the newly remastered. Oh, the, the original Mission remaster. That's pretty cool. So, I love the slipcover on this one. So, maybe we get the other ones with slipcovers. It'll be really cool. So, um, yeah. Definitely had to pick that up. Okay. So, the final yeah. movie. What? I think, I think the guy, real quick, I think the guy you were talking about, the Jimmy Christine, was Stockwell. That's it. That's his John. name. Yes, for, I always forget his name for some reason. Yeah, I, I know. Like, it's it's kind of like me. They, they, you, they, uh, you, you just, you don't think about Yeah. Them. You know, love that probably, movie. You know, and I know, I know Russell Bitch, too. I just... I'm like, yeah, I watched, I watched Christine first time this year. Loved it. Okay, so. It's good. It's it good, is. I love it. It's a really good one. One of, the, one of my favorite Stephen King um, films out there. But uh, not Stephen King. John Far Carpenter. Enough. Good Lord. Um, anyway, this came out last year. Now, he has a set. And I have the um, the Digipack set of this one. And when this set first came out, I was like, oh my God, that's so freaking cool, guys. So, I'm so glad he picked up a set of this one. But... Uh, these are now at Target, and uh, they marked them down to $60, and they had two sets left. So I'm like, you know, if I don't get this now, I won't ever get them. So I love the first one. The first one is an absolute classic. The second one's okay. The third one is not very good in my opinion. It's watchable, but it's not that great. But um, my mom bought this for me. She, it's amazing. But I love this set so much. Um, my very first still book set of anything. So that's pretty cool. And that is the Back to the Future trilogy, guys. I love this set so much. Every time I go to Target, I'm like, oh my god, I want it so bad. I want it so bad. So, um, she ended up buying it for me. She is just amazing. So this is the 35th anniversary limited edition trilogy. Like I said, the first one is absolute classic. What? No, I just, just want to ask you something real quick. How many times have you had the money to purchase that? I know. I, I have, but... Oh, crap. Like I was saying, guys, um, I've been wanting to get this set for a really long time. And uh, I figured if I didn't go ahead and grab it, like I said, I wouldn't be able to get this. But uh, this was at Best Buy for a long time. And, of course, now, like I said, Target has it. But uh, hey, 
Hey, my I, fault. I, real quick, I thought that was exclusive. It was. <laughs> but now Target's getting them. So well, Walmart um, gets them. Walmart gets them too. That's just like the 1917 Steelbook. That was the Best Buy exclusive. Um, that's there. Um, Walmart? No, Target. I thought I thought we saw those at Walmart too. They had them for like nineteen and no, no, you're right. It is Target. Target. Yeah. Oh, and real quick, you were also right about that. Um, the final countdown. Right. You were also right about that. I was wrong because I thought it. I I still think I could have it in my collection. <sighs> but you're right about the company. There's only one company in studio that's releasing, and that was Blue yeah. Underground. And for some reason, or another I thought I had bought it some nope. time ago. But um. So oh yeah, don't Kimberly. Don't pat yourself on the back, baby. I'm not. I'm not. But uh, I'm just cannot believe I finally have this in my collection. So now I have this set and I have the Digipack set as well. So um, I'm old and senile. So. Gorgeous set, but uh, uh, even though I don't really care for the other two, but just to have them all still before them is pretty cool. So um, yeah, it's amazing. So um, this is what this is the reason I went today was because of this. So. Um, yeah. We went, we went to Best Buy. I was going to pick out one particular movie. Um, that's Westworld on Blu-ray. They had for $8. They had one copy left, right? It was all beat up. It was broken. It was... It's, oh, I wanted it, but it was broken. So, mm. that sucks. What? And what did your dad tell you the first time you saw that? What did I tell you? What What movie came after that and set off... I know. A bunch of other Terminator. Movies, the Terminator yep. and other movies as yep. well. All these yeah. artificial intelligent movies like, um, so I think, like uh, Ex Machina and, Ter like you said, Terminator. Um, there's a bunch of other movies as well, too. But, well, uh, you know what? what the, the thing that's really, the thing that I really like about that movie is the fact, the messaging. Yeah. And that's, that's basically what that movie's about. It's about man creates artificial I intelligence, know. and then the artificial intelligence does what? It could eventually, because Be it becomes more intelligent than right. human, it can actually Smarter. become a threat yes. to human. And well, yes. that one's a little bit different because they start malfunctioning. Right. But what happens is they do turn, they do turn they do. on humans, and so it's one of those movies. Be careful. It's a messaging. Be careful. And yeah. if you think about Terminator, Terminator is basically the same thing. Oh yeah. It is. It's very similar to that. It's 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 artificial intelligent versus I know human vice or vice versa. So yeah, it's very good. The movie, real quick, that you forgot to put on there was the one I got the other day in the mail was that the Good Bad and Ugly in 4K. I know. Yeah, we'll show that. We'll show that one the other. Yeah, video. yeah. It didn't come but, with a slipcover. It cover. didn't come with a slipcover, which I was kind of hoping it would, but I had a feeling it wasn't going to come with one. But uh, anyway, guys, so that's all pickups for today. And uh, so I hope you by Sunday we'll make another video because I guess we have a lot of cool stuff coming in the mail as well. So. And also going to do the steel book. That we yes. We didn't mention that. But I think we mentioned that in the other video, but but they need to they need to stay tuned for that because we yeah. have some that's a some lot. Really, I'm still looking to show you. I think I think we probably have. Well, we probably have 200, 250. A lot of still books. books. Oh my goodness. But so. um, yeah, yeah. He's more the still book person than I am. Um, I have a few. But he has a ton. That's not true. I've really backed off in the last. I, you know, they keep making them where I maybe need that one for my collection. And that's the reason I buy it. I'm saying yeah. that you're more the Stillbook guy than I am. Like, when a new comes out, you get the Stillbook. I usually get the Subcover Edition. So, like, when Kong comes out, I think he says he's going to get the Stillbook. We're going to end up getting the Subcover Edition so we can watch it. So, But um, real quick, you need to tell them, real quick, before you get off, you need to tell them what I did a couple of days ago when I was on best buy site mm. and i was looking online and i, I was know. looking at the new the, the new um raiders no. indiana I, jones I'm sorry indiana jones that it said what it in said stores. those would be available where in the store in the store so he went on best up. buy this morning it says unavailable check stores so the nearest store is lexington so um he's gonna wait until the day because it's not gonna be not not it's not that much long for it to come out eighth of next month. June 8th, so June 8th. Um, that sucks because um, so like you said before, if we don't get it, it's not a big deal because we have them all on, on Blu-ray anyway. Um, of course, they're not still books, but uh, no. I think what I'm going to do is if I can't, I still think they're going to be available at the store. Yeah. But so what I'll do, I'll go that day when it's released, and if I don't, if they if they don't release or put any out, then what I'll do is uh, I'll probably order it. 
Okay. From eBay, as long as it's reasonable. There's people already asking, individuals already asking $200. $200, that's crazy. But, so, uh, anyway, know. guys, so those are all the movies for today. Um, we'll stack right here. Still book madness, but uh, awesome, guys. So make sure to like this video, guys. Comment down below. Let me know everything about pickups. So if you picked up any of these um, still books or any of these titles right here, what is your favorite out of this stack? Uh, leave it in the comments down below, guys. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Share this video around, guys. I guess I will talk to you next time. Bye. Jeez, yeah.